Welcome to two days later. Everything is exported. Even at six megapixels per photo, we still have a lot of detail here. So the next step is to fold all of this into reality capture. Of course, reality capture for some reason on my machine doesn't ever show up in the startup menu. So I saved it as a little button down the bottom. We'll input all of these photos. There's another workflow that you can use where you export full resolution photos to use as the texture and then the downsampled photos to calculate the geometry and then you only pay for the geometry photos. So it ends up being a way to make things much cheaper while look at really good. Um, this is a huge model and I'm gonna only be exporting a few 8K textures anyway. So I think there's enough detail in just these six megapixel photos that I won't need to do that. So we're just gonna keep it simple here. So everything got put in. We have all 1,882 photos here. So we're gonna go into the alignment tab, hit settings. We're gonna drag this up. Um, I'm gonna say the image overlap is low. It's actually pretty high, but low means that reality capture will look at the entire image when it's trying to calculate depth maps. Uh, image downscale, don't downscale it at all, please. And we're gonna put the detector sensitivity on to high. And background feature detection will go sure. And we're gonna hit align images. And there's no real setting set that I've found that works every single time. We'll see if this works. The estimation is usually wrong, but will probably happen in a couple hours is reality capture. will be able to use some of these 1882 images. Hopefully it'll be able to use like 1700 of them and merge them all into one component. And then from that component, we'll generate a mesh. But for the moment, I'm going to stop the video and we'll come back when aligning the images is done. Cool. Reality Capture just finished aligning and we have some mixed results here. It took all the camera angles, all the photos that it could group together and it put them in their own components. And so this component only has two photos in it, which is totally useless. This component has 69 in it and it looks to be the bathroom. Okay, and this one is mostly the entire house. Great, so we can go up to scene, we can turn off the camera angles themselves, and we can see we got the bedroom, we got this hallway. It did get some things from the bathroom, um, got the living room, and it got the, the nook. So we just turn back on with the cameras, but let's make them much smaller. So now what I'm gonna do is double click so that I can change what is being rotated around. And I wanna look for what areas of this model don't have that many cameras, camera angles in them. And is that a problem? I'm clicking the model and dragging to move around the space, double clicking to rotate. Um, Seems like we actually have some pretty good coverage of everywhere, which is happy and impressive. Um, lots of coverage of this shelf. Um, the bedroom's looking pretty solid. Um, I'm wondering why there are uh, 400 photos that are being ignored here. Um, and I would love to not pay to license those if there's an easy way to exclude those from reality capture, then I will do that. But for the moment, I think what I wanna do is to show you how to use alignment control points to get component 10 of the bathroom images grouped in to one component with, with the main one.